Vevis police are searching for a three-week-old baby allegedly kidnapped by his father who didn't have custody. Thanks for joining us this midday. I'm Caitlin Lockerbie. John Paul is on assignment. Now, this is who police are looking for, a three-week-old, Stephen Smith, his disappearance triggering a statewide Amber Alert overnight. Local 24's Janae Francine is in Whitehaven, where the child was taken overnight. Janae, what are police saying now? Well, good afternoon, Caitlin. That baby was last seen here at Pepper Tree Apartments, and the good news is Memphis police have made contact with the suspect. Joining me now, Ms. Karen Rudolph with the Memphis Police Department. Hey, Karen, so tell us, what leads us to this point? Well, once we received information of what apartment complex that uh, Stevie Boyd was in, uh, we surrounded the apartment complex, uh, evacuated the area. We had TAC unit uh, join us, uh, negotiators, and we began trying to communicate with Stevie Boyd uh, in hopes to get him to come out and surrender. Our number one, uh, our number one goal is to get the child out safe, uh, make sure this ends peacefully. So I want to give a message. If Stevie Boyd is watching or listening, uh, just know you can surrender, surrender peacefully. Uh, we ask for him to come out. Even if he doesn't want to come out, talk to the negotiators, let them know, hey, I'm going to put the child out and we'll come up and get the child. We just want that child to be okay. And we were discussing earlier how he even got into the apartment with the mother at the first place. You know, could you just discuss that? Uh, yes, whenever he entered the first location in the apartment, he went in unannounced. Uh, he forced his way into the bedroom when he took the child. Uh, whenever he was trying to leave, the mother and uh, someone else that was with her was trying to stop him. Whenever he did fire some shots, uh, neither one of them were injured, and then that's whenever he left on foot. Now, he's inside. You all have made contact. TAC unit is here. Negotiators are here, and you all are wanting to make sure this is as peaceful as possible. Many residents have been kind of rude out here to you all because they can't get inside of their apartments. Talk about why it's important that no one is close because of how severe this situation is. Oh, well, yeah, actually, I, I think the uh, residents here are appreciating that we are putting their safety first. Uh, we want to make sure that they're pulled out of the immediate area because in the original uh, scene that he was on, he was armed. We want to make sure that no one's put in harm's way. So that's our number. That's one another one of our goals too, is to make sure that everyone else that's involved is safe. All right. Thank you so much, Karen. And several people out here. Domestic Violence Unit is out here as well as Child Protective Services to make sure that this baby is okay when located again. This person is being charged with aggravated assault as well as aggravated kidnapping. So we want to make sure that again, if he if he is watching, to make sure and come out and surrender peacefully. Reporting live, Jeanne Francine, back to you, Caitlin.